This is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is a collab with Cooking with Toya. I call him Chef Toya, but he changed his name to Cooking with Toya. He is a wonderful, wonderful chef. Oh, I just love his channel. I'm going to have his channel down below in my description so you can go over there and check him out because he is fantastic. So when I saw him do those blueberry muffins, I said, oh! I got to come back me some, you know, because I love uh, to look at people's channels and try to do some of the things they do. So, Chef Tobia, I'm going to do those blueberry muffins, but I'm not going to use the paper uh, cups. I cannot find the paper cups to go in my muffin pan. So, I got the big old muffin pan like this, got it greased, and I'm going to do two kinds of muffins. I'm going to do the blueberry. And I'm going to do a peanut butter because this is uh, dedicated for the kids. And uh, we're trying to do something to go back to school. So what I did, I already made my um, batter. And you know what my batter is, don't you, y'all? I use <laughs> cake mix. I have it up at the top so you can follow that uh, recipe. But, you know, you put buttermilk and you put eggs and you put um, vanilla uh, instant pudding inside the uh, box. I mean inside the cake mix and that makes it real good and tender. What we're going to do now is get a big spoon and going to start dipping this into the muffin pans. Alright, we're going to do the blue ones, the blueberries first. So what I suggest is to, now I'm making a mess as usual. I'm going to move this over so y'all know I'm dipping out this bowl. So what I'm going to do is um, put the blueberries on the ends. Let's see, let's put the blueberries right here. Now, I let my blueberries be semi-frozen when I do mine. We're going to make three blueberries and we're going to make three um, peanut butter. So, what I'm going to do now is add the blueberries. Now, I like a lot of blueberries and these are semi frozen. So you just put them in there like that because it's about frozen. I don't know what it does to them, but it makes them more blueberry, I guess. No, it just make them more easy to sit on top of your uh, batter. So I just put a lot of them on top like this because I love a lot of blueberries in mine too. Chef Tori, yours was wonderful. They was wonderful. That's why I want to make some. Because I told you in the description that I was going to make some. Okay, here you go right there. So let me get some of these out. And continue filling it up. Like this. Fill it all the way up. And we're going to put some at the top also. Because it's going to sink a little bit. And you want them to be all the way live on this, you know. So that's all to be enough right there. And then we're going to put some more blueberries on top of these. Just like that. And you want to push them down in there. Push them down there. See, I got a little ice on there. That's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. Because that hot heat hit those blueberries and they're just going to sink all the way down. And they're going to be looking so good. We're going to do them just like this, y'all. Take the little ice crystal off. And we're going to put some more on top like that. Take that one off. And I'm pretty sure this is enough right here. So now we're going to do just a peanut butter. We're just going to fill these cavities up with the peanut butter because we're going to do the peanut butter last. And I'll show you how we do that. And these are blueberries, and those are ready to go in the oven, but I'm going to put this side filled with the batter for the peanut butter ones. Be right back. All right, we got the other side filled, and we're going to put these in the uh, uh, 325 degrees oven and let them cook until they are tender, and when you insert a scrawl, they come out clean. So this is what this looks like now, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, here is our muffins. They are ready to do what they want to do. They are warming up and uh, for me to decorate the, the um, peanut butter ones, 
the blueberries, I'm going to put a little glaze on the blueberries. So we'll be right back and show you how we're going to do that. Right now, I'm going to take them out and let them cool. All right. Here are our blueberries. And then these are the ones for the uh, peanut butter. Ain't they beautiful? Look at that. Ooh, they are big and beautiful. Ooh, my goodness. Look at that, y'all. Oh my goodness, they look beautiful. So our blueberries right here. So I'm just gonna put a little glaze on the blueberries, just like this. Just a little glaze. Just turn them around like that. And just put the glaze on there. Just like that. And let it drip all the way down. I like to extra put a little extra stuff on there. You know why it's hot. And we're gonna cut it and let you see what it looks like. Put this one here and see what's going on inside there. It is delicious, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And you know I'm going to bite it, don't you? And the blueberry just pop because we, um, never semi frozen. Oh, this is good. Now, this is the blueberry. And I want to show you how they came out. And they came out magnificent. Look at the blueberries in there. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It's so good, y'all. I'm going to have to stop fishing desserts. I won't fish too many desserts because I eat them all up. And that was the blueberries. And look at Ain't that beautiful? How the blueberries came all the way around and all the way down. All the way down to the end there. Look at that. See that blueberry? And that's a blueberry right there. Right, we're getting ready to do the uh, topping for the peanut butter. Yeah, the peanut butter muffins. You're going to get some peanut butter, just regular smooth peanut butter that you want to get. And you're going to get some whipped cream cheese icing. It's already made. You can make it on if you want to. But I just prefer to buy it when I'm doing something like this. But when I'm making a good cake, I will make the icing myself. So what I'm doing is blending this together. Blending the two icings together. I mean the icing and the peanut butter together. Just like this. Just smooth it together like this. And therefore the icing and the peanut butter be all combined. And you put as much as you want. You want icing, a lot of icing. You put a lot of icing and less peanut butter. But around here, they love all the stuff blended together. So what I'm going to do is fill this little pastry bag with this, and I'll be right back. What we're going to do now is stick the muffin like that, and we're going to squeeze the peanut butter inside like that. We're going to stick it in there like that, and we're going to stick the peanut butter inside as much as we want and when they bite into it peanut butter is in there peanut butter frosting so we're going to stick it all in like that that should be enough as much as you want it's your recipe and then we're going to put layer the top of the rest just like that that looks good like that don't it y'all <laughs> it does Look at that one right there. It's not all the way blended, but it looks really good, don't on it. Okay, we're going to smooth this out. Just like this. I'm telling you, these are some good little old deals right here, y'all. Let's we'll smooth it out. And what I, what I like using the uh, cake mix is they're so moist. We put extra ingredients in there, like the buttermilk and the... Uh, the pudding, it makes it so tender. Make it so tender. And nobody never know if it's scratch unless you tell. Them. Okay. I'm wash my hands. And we're going to get some peanuts. I always get the honey roasted peanuts and just drizzle them on top, just like that. Just like that, the honey roasted peanuts. I mean, they're not honey roasted, but they, yeah, they're honey roasted. They're honey roasted peanuts. Okay. And put as many as you want. And make sure that they are not too, make sure people don't swallow them. Make sure they bite them and then make sure they chew them. Okay, that's it. That's what you call this. Now, this is the peanut butter. 
peanut butter muffins. And we'll be back with our presentation, y'all. All right, here are the muffins. The blueberry muffin. Look how blueberry it is. Y'all, with that little glaze on top of it. And I put two there because someone wants a blueberry muffin, too. And then here is the peanut butter muffin. Yes, and look at these. Look so cute. Look at them looking so cute and want to, someone to eat them up. Okay, this is the muffins. I want to show y'all the presentation. And I did a collaboration with my good, good old chef. <laughs> yes, Tobia. Tobia, thank you very much for giving me that recipe. Because I haven't made a blueberry muffin and I don't know when. And I just have to go make one and look at that. Ooh, they look just as good as yours. And yours looks so fantastic. And I just want to come out with this peanut butter. Because if you're a peanut butter lover, you will love this muffin right here. The icing and everything. Got the peanut butter in there. Then they got icing stuff inside there. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This is Sandra. I want to tell you have it easy and get these recipes off of soulfoodqueen.net and you will enjoy these recipes. I'm going to show you a blueberry muffin again how it looks, y'all. I cut them in half so you can see how they are filled with the blueberry. My camera is not picking up anymore like it used to. I have to get another one. And then I cut the, um, the peanut butter one. And see how tender that cake is? Look. Got too many cake is. Wow. I didn't get that cake box. <laughs> this is Sandra on Teddy Happy Eating. And thank you for coming to my channel and looking at these wonderful recipes I'm sharing with you so you can make something different every day or every once a week or whatever. Go to my website and find some of the recipes that you might miss and you might want to try them. This is Sandra on Teddy Happy Eating. And on this blueberry muffin, for y'all, it's some ice and it's a little, a little ice and a little something to make a plus. The same I'm going to tell you again, happy eating and thank you for coming to my channel. Ooh, look at that pink bug. <laughs> Let me go.